PG&E says there will be a chance to be cutting off power in parts of our area over the next three days to prevent sparking more wildfires. ABC 10's Barbara Bingley shows us how PG&E's new targeted approach aims to reduce the number of customers impacted in each shutoff compared to previous years. Power shutoff season has begun, and for Mark Hankins of Oregon House in rural Yuba County, it's just how it goes. Well, you, you make sure your generator's full of gas and um, just kind of hurry up and wait. <laughs> Public safety power shutoffs are a necessary tool in preventing catastrophic wildfires and will only be used as a measure of last resort. That's Samit Singh, Chief Risk Officer and Senior Vice President at PG&E, who spoke earlier this month on the criteria for declaring a public safety power shutoff. While much remains the same as previous years, Singh explained one of the main changes this year is using better technology. And now we actually have a lot more predictive capability. That means each shutoff should impact fewer customers. I think the biggest issue that they had with these safety shutoffs is that a lot of times the areas that were shut off from power were not that windy. ABC 10 meteorologist Rob Karlmark tracks these power shutoffs regularly as they relate directly to weather. He says the targeted areas like the PG&E power shutoffs that will potentially take place this week are a sign PG&E's new technology is working. It's very disruptive to their homes, to their businesses, where they live, where they work. So I know the plan is to get it as small of an area as possible for the least amount of time. They're working toward that goal. We'll see how it goes. Even so, for the areas that are affected, like Mark's. It's pretty frustrating because it's, we've already had three in the last week, power outages. And for more details on the shutoffs, you can visit abc10.com.